Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is the Gun Toting Pacifist coming to you again from the basement. Today I wanted to take some time and talk about one of my favorite pistols. I've had this pistol for about three years, the M&P 1.0. This gun is unloaded and bear with my half of a finger on my left hand. I did have an industrial accident when I was 19 years old. I think this gun would be a great option for somebody who is budget-minded. You have the 2.0 out now, which is going for about uh, 450 to 500, depending on where you get it. You can pick up one of these, very high quality, polymer framed, reinforced polymer frame chassis, striker fired pistols for three to 350. If you're willing to go to 40 caliber, this one's a nine millimeter, you could get them as cheap as 250, 275. Uh, I did go ahead and do the Apex Enhancement Kit and Trigger with the, this one because I bought it in Massachusetts a few years ago. Um, and the trigger pull was between 12 and 15 pounds. It was absolutely unshootable. But if you buy this in a free state like New Hampshire, which I'm in now, which I'm luckily in now, um, I, I don't think you would need to do that upgrade at all. So you could have a ready-to-go gun carry gun, home defense gun, for between three and 350. It's very ergonomic. Everything on it is positive. Um, the slide and the, the barrel, even though there's an Armonite finish on them, they come from stainless stock, just very high quality materials in this gun. I probably have about 4,000 rounds through this gun with zero malfunctions. And the only thing I've changed on it is the slide spring. Just a very, very high quality pistol. I've been carrying it. It's uh, four, what is it? About four point, no, it's about 7.6 inches long and five and a half inches tall. So it could be difficult for some people to carry. I've never had an issue with it. I've been carrying it in the Bravos since I got it, which have a nice kilt to them. Hold it tight to the body, especially in the winter time when I could just carry it outside the waistband with a coat over it. Or just open carry it because I'm in New Hampshire, thank God. Um, man, this gun, it's just a great gun. I've had nothing but luck with it. It comes with three back straps, which are easily replaceable. Um, it did come with two communist mags when I bought it in Massachusetts. But the first thing I did when I moved to New Hampshire is pick up the 17 rounders. So 17 plus one capability. Um, it's just a great, great gun. It's got a 4.25 inch barrel um, and you can field strip this without pulling the trigger. So you just lock the slide back, drop the little takedown lever on the side and this little pin back here twists and pulls out. This is what holds the back straps in. So if you pull that pin out, these back straps just slide right off and then you slide the I have the bigger one in there now because I have bigger hands, but it comes with three different sizes. So you take this pin and all you do is just drop the lever inside. I mean, if you want to pull the trigger, you can, but you have to have the magazine in there because it's got a disconnect. So you just drop that little lever inside, boom, it's apart. This gun is dirty because I'm actually trying to get it to fail now that I've got a ton of rounds through it. So I'm going to bring it to the range right after this video. And that's it. It's apart. And it goes back together nice and easy. with the Apex trigger in it and the enhancement kit, it brings it down to about, I got the duty carry. You can get the, the target Apex kit, which is about a three pound trigger pull, but I got the duty carry, which comes in around five pounds. And there's pretty much zero creep to that wall. I mean, that's it, it's just right there. And then it's got a nice crisp break. You gotta cock it first. <laughs> 
right to the wall, just like that. I thought it felt a little mushy. And then you're right there, and then it's got a nice crisp break. Then the reset is not as short as a 1911, but it's, it's pretty short. And then when it resets right there, you're right at the wall again. Very nice trigger pull. Um, comes in at about 20, 27 point, what is it? Just under 28, I think it's about 27.9 ounces of weight. Um, it's got a 17 plus one capability. It's just a great option. This gun for 300 to 350. Well worth the money. So let's head to the range. So just to give you a little idea of how I carry this gun, I carry it in my Bravo inside the waistband Kydex holster at about three o'clock. Uh, today I'll be carrying it uh, outside the waistband because I'm wearing a coat. But when I conceal carry, this is how I wear it. And as you can see, this is not a loose fitting sweatshirt. It actually fits pretty well. And you would never know. And I got these Bravo holsters outside the waistband, inside the waistband for I think 67 bucks, just like 67.35 on Amazon for the pair. It's got a nice cant to it, holds it holds it in really tight. I mean, I've carried this gun with a t-shirt before. Not that it matters up here in New Hampshire. You can print, you can open carry, whatever. But um, they work really well. Really, really well. All right, so I'll see you at the All range. All right, here we are at the range. Today I'm gonna be feeding her Remington 115 grain uh, ball ammo. Let's see how she does. I forgot I had 17 rounders. Not too shabby. All right, now let's see how she does with my carry ammo, which is 124 grain jacketed hollow point Federal HSTs. I'm gonna shoot some water jugs down there to see what they do to it. Once again, the Federal 124 grain jacketed hollow points. And she fed those just fine. I have over 4,000 rounds through this gun. Not one malfunction, not one failure to feed, failure to eject, nothing. It's been awesome. 
So in conclusion, if you're looking for a good polymer striker fired pistol and you don't want to pay brand new new model prices, um, do a little shopping around. Find yourself something like this, the M&P 1.0. A um, few little enhancements on it, like the trigger, Apex enhancement kit, and you really, really have yourself a nice gun. Until next time, my friends, this is the Gun Toting Pacifist. Stay alert, stay active, and stay armed.